Hey y'all, Craig Wall, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. Today we're gonna get out here and work on this uh, beaver pond. This fella's got four or five beaver uh, dams going out through here, and as you can tell, it's flooding out all this pasture pretty bad. So we're gonna get out here, me and my buddy Daryl's gonna get out here and see if we can't get him squared away, and maybe pick up a few beaver while we're at it. So y'all come on along, see how we do. Okay guys, here we are. We got our first dam. They got a pretty good sized dam across here. They got it backed up all the way up through yonder and he says there's another dam above this one so we'll work our way up to that. But it's, it's holding quite a bit of water and it's flooding out here into his pasture. So we're gonna try and take care of them out here and see what we can do. But that's, uh, tell you what we're gonna do. First thing, we're gonna set a drowner rod right up here on the middle of this dam. It's about three or four feet deep. So hopefully, if I tear a little bit of that dam right there out, a little water through, they'll come in here to try and fix it tonight. So we'll get that drowner rod set out. Your own. All right, guys, we got eight foot drowning rod. It looks like it's about three to four foot deep. So we're gonna get this rod in the ground right here. I'm gonna use this, this is a Duke number four. Got her set. Pretty good little ledge here. I'll set her right here. And I'm gonna put, tear this out just a hair. Start letting a little bit of water through here. Hopefully, they'll uh, come in here and check that out. And we'll get them coming down and drown her eye. Uh, all right, I got some, some of Dan Davis's homemade beaver lure. It'll be the first time I got to use it. Dan sent it to me last season, actually. And this is the first beaver job I've got since when he sent it to me, so I'm looking forward to using it. I want to get them excited. I 
Alright, that's our first set so far. Alright guys, well guys, got a little crossover right here. <clears throat> We're going to set, I'm going to set a 330 over here on this slide. And then this is about three feet deep. So we're going to put another drowning rod over here and put a little bait out. And that way, whichever side they come across, maybe we'll get an otter, may get a beaver traveling from upper, upper dam to the lower dam. And then, so we'll get two, two traps out right here, a 330 and a drowner. deep right there. good there all right guys I found this little looks like a slide coming out here so I'm gonna put me a three th I mean a drowner rod out it's about three foot deep here we got uh did we film the other two we put out mm -hmm. all right so we got down about 50 yards we got that dam set down there so we're gonna set out a drowner here, move up a little farther and put out a 330 over here. There is a, almost no beaver sign in here. We found just a very few, few sticks. But they're maintaining the dams because the chew sticks were on top of the dam. So I'm gonna, Set it just like we'll get a lot of sign, but right now we're not getting a lot of sign. So we'll see what happens. Damn trap. I set these. They're gonna be fast. Right here. 
Got us a stick. Last three traps I put uh, Dan Davis's homemade beaver lure out. And I'm going to put a little Chopper J be beaver lure on this one just to mix it up a little bit. So I'm putting a little bit of everything out. So we'll see what happens. Put a, a bit of caster right up here on the stick. See if I can't get them to come up here and check it out. All right, that's set number four. All right, guys, we busted this dam right here, trying to get a little water flow. Set up a 3.30 right here on this dam break set. See if we can't catch something coming through here. So this is what, set number four or five? Five. Five. All right, so we're gonna get this one done. It's set, just gotta take safety off and we'll move on up. Get us a duke number four in right here. Get us some caster there. Gonna give us a you want the same stuff or you want the other stuff? Yeah, we'll just use Here, slide me the bag over here, please. Let's see what I got in there. Trapper J. Oh, it has some big pile. Yeah, some big pile. That could be three different baits I've tried. When I go back down there, I'm gonna use Dan and uh, Dan Davis's bait again because I got I'm gonna put out three more traps up down the creek. Flat spot with right right yep, that's it right there. Yep. All right, it's three different baits. We'll see. see if that'll bring them in here. All right, y'all, we got another 330 out right here. Looks like an old slide, but we got a little bit of chewing on a tree right over here. So I'm going to uh, set it out anyway, put a little caster out, and see if he'll come through here. Uh, it's not quite deep enough to drown him here, so we're going to go with the 330. So maybe we'll get a catch on it. All right, y'all, what we got right here is we got a trail going right over here to this dam. 
Yeah. You can see it's a pretty good trail. Show myself. And out through here, there's some otter tracks coming up that bank heading this way. So I'm hoping we can uh, just set a blind set right here by the water. Got water right over here, 10 foot. We got water right there. So we may get a coon, but I'm hoping that an otter is still running this trail right here. And I think it's a set number 10. So that's going to be all we got really got room to set today.